It's a beautiful new single, Have a Little Faith in Me, from Juno-winning singer-songwriter Johnny Reed. It is the first song of his new album, Love Someone. Johnny joins us with more on the album and a long-awaited tour. Good morning to you. Good morning, Annette. How are you doing? I'm doing very well. You must be so excited to get back on the road. Yes, we are. You know, uh, we've been waiting a long time, so... It's going to be exciting once we uh, we get some some confirmation that we're going to be able to take this this music uh, across the country. Right, the music for this album, the and this will be the Love Someone national tour. Did you write it all, uh, record it all during the pandemic, during lockdowns? Yes, most of it. Um, I, you know, the, the, there's several songs on there that I've actually had in my back pocket for years. Uh, I just never had the right project to put them on, you know. Uh, this, this this entire album is is a tiny bit more introspective than what I've released in the past, you know. I think uh, the pandemic and everything that the world has gone through, uh, you know, we had no choice but to take a look inside a little deeper. Uh, so the, the album itself is is very. Uh, it's a little deeper than, than, than what I've released in the past. Right. It's kind of about, like, I've, I've listened to some of the tracks already on the album, and it, it's kind of about, like, just not being afraid to show somebody that you really love them, right? Reaching out. Absolutely. And I, and I think I've always, you know, I've, I've sort of built my career on being myself, you know, and uh, there's a lot of things I hold dear to my heart, uh, family, uh, love, friendship. These are all things I've sort of built my career on. But uh, this album in particular... Um, really, you know, during this whole time, as you get a wee bit older, uh, you start looking at your life a bit differently. Uh, you start thinking about your own mortality. You start thinking about what it is that you want to leave behind. And, uh, and this album is definitely that. I wanted to make sure that every song on the album, uh, there was, a, there was a, a, a deeper reason for it. Right, and and I understand that when the tour is announced, the details haven't been and, and hasn't been announced yet. It's going to be across Canada. It's going to be a very long tour, but in smaller theaters in smaller markets to really reach your fans. Well, yes, and you know I had sent out a wee message on social media I, during this time. I, I love playing the arenas. I love playing the big shows. You know, I mean it's amazing. Uh, but I, I posed a question uh, and I reached out to people and I said, hey. You know, if this show was to come to you, where would you want to see it? And uh, I said, no matter how big the venue, how, no matter how small the venue, you know, where would you want to see it? And you would not believe the people, you wouldn't believe the responses we got. You know, we had, uh, you know, the, the MTS Centre, you know, for 10,000 people. And then we had, like, Jimmy's Roller Rink, you know, uh, <laughs> that, you know, they love us to, to come and play there. So. So this this tour, uh, when when this all gets figured out, you know we're going to be we're going to be coming to places that we've never been before. And the whole idea is, in the past, the show was so large, the show was so big, you know, you could only play so many rooms. Uh, with this album and this tour and, and trying to reconnect and and getting out there and having a chance to just be a tiny bit more personal. Uh, you know, the show's going to come to places that we've never been before, and it's going to be very special for me, and my hope is that it will be very special for, for everybody that, that comes up to see it. Okay, also something very special coming up at Hamilton's Theatre Aquarius on November 4th, which is next week already. You're, yes. you're, you've been working on a musical about your granny. It's called Maggie, and on, uh, on November 4th, an event's going to be Maggie in conversation with the creators and cast of Johnny Reed's new musical. So you're not going to be singing on stage, but you're going to be talking about the show and how much your granny means to you. Yeah, you know, Annette, I, I, this has been several years in the making. Uh, I was always trying to figure out a way that I could immortalize my gran. And I thought, well, the best way for me to do that is to probably you know, create a musical. And I worked with some incredible people, you know, Matt Murray, Michael Rubinoff, uh, Mary Frances Moore, uh, you know, Bob Foster, all these incredibly talented people. So I'm just a very small part of it. Uh, but the story is about my, the story is about my granny and her life. And uh, I, I just, the music, I wrote all the music uh, for the show with Matt and Bob. And uh, we're just terribly excited to hopefully, uh, you know, 
get this show up. Uh, hopefully in Hamilton, we're going out to the Savoy Theatre in Nova Scotia. Uh, we're looking at other places, PEI, Newfoundland, the Maritimes, and all the way west. Uh, this musical will go across the country at some point. So just terribly excited to sit down and, and be part of something bigger than myself and sit down and uh, have a conversation and talk to people and show people how this this whole thing came together. Okay, and, and I'm so happy that you sat down and had a conversation with us this morning. Thank you very much, Johnny Reed. And we should let people know that tickets are available now for Maggie in Conversation and uh, the tribute to Johnny Reed's granny. And that's uh, on November 4th, 7.30. Get your tickets at theateraquarius.org. Thank you, Johnny. Thank you so much. I'm